Let's find the derivative of 1 over x squared using the power rule, which I've written here. I'll also show you how to do this with the quotient rule at the end. However, really, you should use the power rule. It is much more efficient. When we have x in the denominator, we can rewrite it as a negative power like so. The derivative of 1 over x squared is the same as the derivative of x to the negative second, since these things are the same. And then we can apply the power power rule, which tells us we need to bring the exponent down as a factor. In this case, the exponent is negative 2. So we have negative 2, and then we need to multiply by x and just reduce its exponent by 1. Its exponent was negative 2. If we reduce that by 1, the new exponent is negative 3. And there is our derivative, negative 2x to the negative third. Or, if you prefer, negative 2 divided by x cubed. Of course, the original function is 1 divided by x squared, so we could use the quotient rule with f of x equal to 1 and g of x equal to x squared. The quotient rule then is f prime g, which we see here, minus g prime f, all divided by g squared. And this turns out to again be negative 2 over x cubed. But once more, the power rule is a lot more slick, so just use that.